nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. You're calling me beautiful. Like, look at you. Have you seen yourself? <laughs> I didn't look in the mirror today. <laughs> well, I've got to say, this is literally the best time to be a black superhero. A black superhero? Are you kidding me? I was like, what a time to be alive. Hello. It's 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 a it's a wave. A shift has happened, and I think uh, with with shows like Black Lightning and movies like Black Panther, these are just the first of many to come. Yeah, and I'm excited and honored to be a part of the wave, really. And I mean, you're not just a part, you're a leader in this field because oh, you. you are one of the few black queer characters on TV and you know, you have superpowers, no big deal. You must have little girls coming up to you so much. Yeah, the outpour of love on my social media from young black lesbians uh, it has been, you know, just really emotional and inspiring for me to see that I'm inspiring them and it, it, it pushes me to want to keep going and you know dig even deeper to who my character is and, and reveal more of that but the outpour of love of of the women saying that they are grateful to see themselves on TV and to have that rep representation. representation yeah I'm grateful that I was chosen to give a voice over to it really I am I mean, speaking of representation, I know that you were inspired by Will Smith. Yes. Have you met him yet? Has, uh, have you yeah, told him? I'm from Philly. I met him a couple years ago. Um, I met him when I first started out in Philly, and I, I told him he was my inspiration and that I was working with his acting coach, and it'll be cool to run into him again. It'll happen soon. Yeah. I mean, it could happen at an Oscar. Yes. It could. Very. Yeah, right. If you, okay, let's say you and Will Smith are cast in a movie. Ooh and you're Oscar nominated, is he the first person you mentioned in your Oscar speech or do you drop someone? Probably like the third or the fourth person. I might mention God and my mama first. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so. And then I'll get to Willie from Philly. But no, yeah, like he's such a huge inspiration. I'm literally here in LA following my dreams because we come from the same neighborhood and I saw him, you know, become all that he has become and it's been such a huge inspiration for me, yeah. Now you get to return the favor for other young girls. I do, I do, and it's it's all about reaching back and, and, and teaching you know those who are coming up after me what what what's been passed down. So speaking of teaching, so Lara Croft in this movie in Tomb Raider, she's a brave 21 year old. She what is. would you tell yourself when you were 21? I mean, you might be 21 now. I don't know. You look so young. <laughs> You're so pretty. You could no, be. No, no, it's on crack. <laughs> <laughs> what would I tell myself at 21? I would tell myself to be patient. Yeah that everything happens in due timing. Due timing, that's a good one. Yeah. I think I needed that one today. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much, it's so nice Thank to meet you. Thank you, nice to meet you too, pleasure.